Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Winston Bennett. Uh, today is Wednesday, uh, the 22nd, uh, the 22nd of March. Hey, I want to read uh, to you from the Word of God. This is going to be Luke chapter 5, uh, verse 17 through verse about 19. So uh, I'll do that and then make a comment. It says, one day as he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there and the power of the Lord was present for him to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralytic on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, friend, your sins are forgiven. What are we saying here? God is looking for bodacious faith. These men had an issue. And when I read throughout the Bible, I noticed that God seems to react to people with issues. I'm not, not so much see him making people go from poverty to billionaires and millionaires, although that's possible, but he seemed to come to the rescue of those who needed help, those that were demon possessed, those that need to be healed, raising people from the dead. In this case, a paralytic man that needed to be healed. These people had bodacious faith. That's what intrigues me, the faith in the Bible. There were some things God or Jesus could not do because the people didn't have the faith. They didn't believe that he could do it. But to those that believed, to those that showed this bodacious faith like these men did, carrying a friend on a mat, couldn't get in the house where Jesus was because Jesus had done so much great work healing people, healing the sick, raising the dead, that those with issues Whenever Jesus came in town, man, they were flooding him. It was like a great revival. They were coming to see him. So these men knew Jesus was there. They had to get their friend in there somehow, some way. So they couldn't go through the door. It was too crowded. Like going to the game at the Yum Center at Rupp. It's too crowded. There's no seats. What are you going to do? Well, these people said, man, I got to get to Jesus. So they went up on the top of the roof, went through the hole in the roof, took them down from through the ceiling, put them down in front of Jesus and said, man, we need to be healed. We need what you got. And that's what I'm saying this morning to our father. And I'm saying to you, God, I need what you got. You know, I need what you got, man. I, I'm not there yet. I want to be there. I need what you got. You know, I, I give me more faith. Give me more faith. Let me believe it. Leave, believe in you throughout all obstacles. When it don't look like it can be done, I know you can do all things. Nothing is impossible to them that believe. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if I'm not hoping, then nine times out of 10, it ain't gonna happen. I gotta keep my hope alive. Martin Luther King, I think, said, keep hope alive. I think President Obama talked about the audacity of hope. So we got to keep our hope alive. We got to keep our trust in God. And above all, we got to have a bodacious faith. So as you go throughout your day today, be faithful. Know that God can do whatever needs to be done. Bodacious faith. Blessings. Have a great day.